okay? It's been a minute. Ball facts coming back at you again, and we gonna give you the facts. What's going on, family? We gotta talk about this season. Oh, Lonzo, boom, let's go. Look what was about to happen. Look at the chemistry that Lonzo and Zion have developed. It was just, what, what, boom again. It was crazy. And we were moving up through the ranks. Look at right here. We're not that many games away, guys. In the 10th spot, we could beat the Blazers, we could beat the Grizzlies, and we could move on. Now, let's look how Lonzo, he's been looking so sad ever since this happened. And now he's reverted back to making music, because what else you going to do? Uh, I'm just checking in on y'all. Uh, obviously, the NBA's down, so I can't give y'all no highlights, but uh, I got some music dropping in the meantime. Now, this brother looks straight depressed. Come on, B.I., what you doing with it? Uh, look, at the whole Pelicans team was really ready to push for the playoffs but you seen La cash you seen lonzo looking all sad because the dude can't catch a break i mean he's been trying to finish out good shot uh from drew holiday lonzo ball another mr drano this dude done came out of the woodworks bang and started hitting all his threes and everybody's eating their words but i want to get back to lonzo being so sad because the dude has been trying to finish a season out like injuries have plagued him coaches have plagued him and now a freaking coronavirus man i mean you would think that it just couldn't get any worse and then it does the only upside to it is that he has more time to train i think if he's not getting into a gym paying to lock it down and get in there then he can't even train he was just sitting sitting at home you know working on some music and uh i'm not mad at that i want to see some more of that i'm singing and i'm rapping let that money talk yeah i want to see some more of that that was my favorite song that he had on his album but this is just so bittersweet watching these highlights i love seeing lonzo bang pulling these shots and getting ready and just having a breakout season there we go off the glass that's what's up i love seeing these highlights but it's so bittersweet because it's like we want more he, look at lonzo he can find the guy this team was only getting better and better like they only had an upside they had so many things to work out and they still were competing against high level teams go zion uh and zion is just getting started once he loses a little more weight a little more condition back him down back him down so come on get in there look he lose some weight it's gonna be even better it's gonna be more highlights it's just a shame that we were denied to see the greatest comeback of all time the pelicans making the playoff zion getting rookie of the year making everybody that loved ja morant just mad there we go cash zo and it was gonna be an epic run and i had said this so many times about the pelicans being able to do it oh big boy moves and everybody literally has just flip-flopped and trying to act like they've been on the side of the pelicans the whole time when 95 percent of the f nba fans out there was saying the pelicans weren't gonna make the playoffs the pel cash lonzo the pelicans didn't have anything in the tank and they weren't gonna be good their first year you better be glad zion did not start this season because we would have been in the playoffs already we would have been a number five spot and you can bet that on anything i guarantee you that and now we don't even know when the next nba game will be i from what i'm seeing people you know catching the virus new cases popping up that this season is over with that they're not going to get back on the court they're not going to let the fans in the stands it's just not going to happen because of the risk factor and if that's the truth everybody loses out and not only the pelicans like lebron james is getting older he wasted another year and he's got to try to get a ring next year you know with another year added to his body now the only good news is we don't have to like let's say we would have missed out on the playoffs and got the ninth spot we would have been blaming it on all of our injuries well we get a new season fresh start next season and jackson hayes will have improved and he played a lot of minutes this year they didn't think he would play because of injuries that the pelicans had so he got experience he's ready to get back out there he's gonna be a beast next year and i'm telling you guys the lakers they would have had of course the clippers to contend with and that would have been a tough tough series but it was going to be a tough series with the pelicans the lakers number one 
The Pelicans number eight. I'm telling you, that series would have been problematic for the Lakers. Do I think the Lakers would have won? Right now, yes. And the only reason I say that is because the Pelicans, they haven't figured everything out together consistently. They haven't gelled consistently. And that's what I'm hoping that we can get next year since everyone will be on deck from the get-go. But I'm telling you guys, the Pelicans would have got at least two games. They would have got at least two games. Why? Because they have Lonzo and Zion. And it would have put the whole league on notice. Like, watch out for this team next year. It's only going to get better. And it's too bad that the Corona didn't just clear up right away. You know, because they could come back rested this year. Fight for their spot. JJ might be healed from his injury. Everything could have been just so much hype and like it would have led up to expectations that i had and anticipation of the world it would have been an explosive atmosphere when the pelicans played the lakers the storyline is so crazy that is the team that they traded with anthony davis zion williamson two really hyped players and everybody's saying the pelicans got the short end of the stick remember this because next year when LeBron is a little older and they still got Anthony Davis, remember what you said that the Pelicans got the short end of the stick because I say they didn't. You have Lonzo and Zion. And with them fine-tuning that duo, that is better than Anthony Davis. Mark my words. Lonzo's three-point is going to be on point. Of course, you know his court vision, his IQ, the passing. And Zion in shape? You're going to want Lonzo and Zion over Anthony Davis any day. Remember that. Because look at Anthony Davis. He was on the Pelicans for how long and he couldn't get the job done. He couldn't get it done. He's a good player. He's great. But he's not even like on the level of LeBron, what LeBron was doing in Cleveland. Anthony Davis wasn't doing that on the Pelicans. So I'm telling you, Lonzo and Zion is the better trade. And they dodged a bullet. Because some, things, some people are going to get exposed by the Pelicans. There's a lot of good teams coming up. Like, you know, the Grizzlies, they have a really good core. But it's not going to touch the Pelicans. John ja Moran is really, really great. I think he's going to do good things, you know, in the future. He's definitely going to be, you know, on Sports Center for years to come and talked about. But if they keep Lonzo and Zion together, look out, guys. Look out. Now I know that we have to do something about the chemistry and specifically I'm talking about Brandon Ingram and Drew Holiday because these are really good pieces like we can't lie just because we're Lonzo fans or Zion fans and act like these dudes aren't all star or all star potential like these guys are really good players and any team would be happy to have them but when you when we talk about chemistry and we talk about gelling together we have to figure this out because it's all about a team's identity i'm not for oh whoever brings the ball down just let them bring it down why because they have different mentalities see golden state warriors when they used to just throw the ball and draymond would run it up or steph would run it up they all had the same mentality they knew what was going to happen and you knew what was going to happen the warriors are going to keep their identity and play their style but it's different when bi brings the ball up or Drew Holiday or, you know, even some of the bench players, they bring the ball up and the team looks different than when Lonzo brings the ball up. And I dare to say that the team is better. It looks better when the identity is of the Lonzo persuasion. And that's what Alvin Gentry has to figure out. And yeah, Alvin Gentry dodged a bullet. He definitely has his job again. And, you know, he did an OK job. But really, you had some you had a Swiss Army knife of a team. You had everything you needed and you needed to take care of it. Could we have used big man that could shoot? Yes. So I guess we didn't have everything. We could use big man that could shoot. But we had enough Let, like we had enough to make the playoffs. If Alvin Gentry didn't make the playoffs this year, I think the Pelicans would have hired him again just because he didn't have Drew and Zion from the get go. But. I wouldn't care if they got another coach because I seen enough during the season to say that he's not like the worst coach in the world, but he's not the best either. And I think someone could do a better job. 
but for the sake of supporting the Pelicans, I'm still going to support Alvin Gentry. And support means sometimes getting on their head when they do the wrong things. We got to let them know, like, that's not cool. Not playing Lonzo until six minutes of the fourth quarter. That type of stuff. That is never going to be excusable. We're not going to let that go. But we all missed out on what this season could have been. Lonzo Ball, the man with the ball on the string. All he needs is leg room and somebody to run with him. Zion Williamson, the heaviest guy for at 6'6 that you will ever see in your life that can jump that high. He was born on springs. Jackson Hayes, the up and coming man that is going to shock the world. Man, if he can get a mid-range jump shot, it'll be like Kevin Garnett. Then we had Drew Holiday, who was started out as the leader of the team was injured had to find a new role but was still clutch still has defense and we had brandon ingram the first time all-star the man who looked at la and said i told you i was going to be something we had chips on our shoulder we had chemistry we had everything we needed the correct recipe to upset a grizzlies team to upset the freaking portland trailblazers and come to the playoffs wow something that we jeff just definitely missed we missed it corona screw you you hear that rona okay guys of course you know i gotta cover the draft i gotta cover what's going on with leangelo ball the summer league the g league things like that i got my ears to the street i'm waiting until some real good stuff comes up and we're gonna hop all over it and give you the facts of course because the NBA won't be gone forever. It's going to come back and we're going to come back right with it. I got a couple more videos in the chamber. Thanks for, for stopping by again. Don't forget to go to shopballfacts.com. You know, if you're not rocking some triple B shoes and a ball facts hat, what are you rocking? All right, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Ball facts again. Peace.